Fighting Infection When You're a Diabetic Welcome back to our channel. Today, I want to cover fighting infections when diabetic. Diabetes can make it harder for you to fight off infectious diseases, which are illnesses caused by germs. If you have diabetes, you might have a higher risk of getting sick and becoming more severely ill if you do get sick. Infections can have a significant impact on individuals with diabetes. Diabetes is a condition characterized by high blood sugar levels either due to a lack of insulin, type 1 diabetes, or the body's inability to use insulin effectively, type 2 diabetes. When someone with diabetes gets an infection, the interaction between the infection and their diabetes can be complex and potentially dangerous. Here's how infection can affect those with diabetes. Poor glycemic control, infection can lead to increased stress on the body, which can result in elevated blood sugar levels. The body's response to infection involves releasing stress hormones like cortisol and catecholamines, which can raise blood glucose levels. This makes it challenging for people with diabetes to maintain good glycemic control. Insulin resistance, infections can trigger insulin resistance, where the body's cells become less responsive to insulin. This can further contribute to elevated blood sugar levels, making it more difficult to manage diabetes during an infection. Risk of diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA in people with type 1 diabetes, severe infections can increase the risk of developing diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA. DKA is a life-threatening condition characterized by extremely high blood sugar levels, the presence of ketones in the blood, and metabolic acidosis. It requires immediate medical attention. Hey, before I cover wound healing, can you do us a favor and tap the like and subscribe button? Your support helps this channel to grow. As we grow we are able to bring you more important videos like this. So, thanks for the support. Now, back to wound healing. Delayed wound healing, high blood sugar levels can impair the body's ability to fight infections and heal wounds. People with diabetes are more prone to foot ulcers, skin infections, and other issues that can be exacerbated by poor glycemic control during an infection. Increased susceptibility to infections, people with diabetes, especially if their condition is poorly controlled, may have a weakened immune system. This makes them more susceptible to infections in the first place, and they may also have a harder time fighting off the infection once it occurs. Now, this is especially true if you are a diabetic who has had a liver or kidney transplant. Your immune system is naturally weakened due to the immune suppression drugs you must take daily to prevent an immune attack on your new organs. Monitoring and management, people with diabetes need to monitor their blood sugar levels more closely when they have an infection and adjust their insulin or medication as needed. They may also require more frequent medical checkups to ensure that their diabetes management is on track during the illness. It's essential for individuals with diabetes to be proactive in managing their condition and preventing infections whenever possible. This includes maintaining good glycemic control, practicing good hygiene, getting recommended vaccinations e.g. flu and pneumonia vaccines, and seeking prompt medical attention if an infection develops. Diabetes management should be a collaborative effort with healthcare professionals to navigate the challenges posed by infections and maintain overall health. Proper foot care, people with diabetes are at higher risk for foot infections, so it's essential to inspect your feet daily for any cuts, sores, or signs of infection. Keep your feet clean and dry, and wear comfortable shoes. Attend regular checkups with your healthcare provider to monitor your overall health and diabetes management. They can help you identify and address any potential issues. All these tips are important to implement, but most importantly, keep those sugars under control. Remember, all bad health issues for diabetics start with a lack of controlled blood sugars. We hope you found this video informative. This is one of the most important aspects of diabetes control, we know you can do this.